Hello, you're welcome. How to solve for x and y in this system of equation where x is not equal to y. Yeah, label this as equation 1 and here as equation 2. Then we subtract equation 2 from 1, that is equation 1 minus equation 2. Then on the left hand side, equation 1, we have x squared minus y, then minus equation 2 does into brackets y square minus x then equals to 73 minus 73 that give us 0 from there then here minus here open brackets then this becomes x square minus y minus y square then plus x now equals to 0 from here then here let's group these squares together so we have x square minus y square then we can write this as plus x minus y i equals to zero from here and also here we have perfect square which we can write as x plus y multiplied by x minus y then plus x minus y close bracket now equals to zero from here then here we have x minus one y common we factor that out so we have x minus y out then we are having x plus y left here then plus one left here which is equals to zero from here and also here we have two cases we have x minus y equals to zero or we have x plus y plus one equals to zero from here then here x is equals to y and since we have stated that x is not equals to y so this will not be equal here and from here taking one to this side we have x plus y equals to minus one and label this as equation three and also from what we have let's add equation one and two so equation one plus equation two and from the left hand side in equation one we have x square plus minus y that's x square minus y then plus that of equation 2, that's y square minus x, then equals to 73 plus 73, that gives us 146. That is here, also we group the squares together, then we have x square plus y square, then minus x minus y, now equals to 146 from here. And also here we can write this as x square plus y square minus common here so minus out then x plus y now equals to 146 from here and from equation 3 here yeah, x plus y is same thing as minus 1 so here we replace this as minus 1 and we have x square plus y square then minus times minus 1 now equals to 146 and from here this becomes x square plus y square the minus times minus as plus as plus 1 equals to 146 then here we take 1 to that side or minus and we have x square plus y square equals to 146 minus 1 which imply we have x square plus y square equals to 145 let's leave this as equation 4 then from here equation 3 we recall that we have x plus y equals to minus 1 now when we square both sides of equation 3 here yeah, we square this side as well and the expansion here gives us x square 
plus y square then plus 2xy now equals to minus 1 square that is 1 then here we substitute the value of x square y square from equation 4 then which is 145 then plus 2xy now equals to 1 from here then here 2xy is now same thing as 1 minus 145 which implies that we have 2xy to be equal to minus 144 that is here we recall that also when we have x minus y or square we can expand this and this becomes x square plus y square minus 2xy in order for us to get x minus y so then we substitute x square plus y square and also from here we have x minus y all square now equals to here from equation 4 we have 145 then here from here 2xy is minus 144 so we have minus then into bracket minus 144 from here that this year we have x minus y all square now equals to 145 plus 144 here and which implies we have x minus y all square then equals to here yeah, this gives us 289 from here then now we can square both sides let's take the square root on both sides so that the square here cancel square roots and this gives us x minus y equals to plus or minus 17 from here which implies that we have two values for x minus y here yeah, x minus y is equals to 17 or we have x minus y equals to minus 17 then we can solve this together with equation 3 which is x plus y equals to minus 1 and which also here yeah, x plus y equals to minus 1 now here when we solve this simultaneous equation we can add the two equations here to eliminate y so here we have 2x then y has been cancelled then 17 minus 1 here give us 16 and divide both side by 2 here we have x to be equals to 8 from here then to get y we can use the same equation 3 from equation 3 y will now be equals to minus 1 minus x which implies that y equals to minus 1 minus 8 and here y is equals to minus 9 so that here the solution we have here x comma y here will now be equals to 8 comma minus 9 then in the same way we can solve this simultaneous equation as well by adding here and here we have 2x equals to minus 18 also divide both sides by 2 here and here these two cancel each other and we have x now equals to minus 9 and from here as well we can find the value of y using that relation and here we have y now equals to minus 1 minus minus 9 and which implies we have y equals to minus 1 plus 9 and here y equals to 8 then the second set of solutions here which also x comma y is now equals to x here we have minus 9 then y we have 8 so these are two sets of solutions we have here 
and the value of x here same as the value of y here and here the value of y same as the value of x here and thank you for joining us don't forget this step subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on put your comment give it a thumbs up and share this video see you next class and bye for now